What's up Crypto World, Crypto Snake is here and today I will share with you an extremely hilarious video. For those who don't know, a couple of days ago the founder and CEO of Strike Jack Mollers attended the Bloomberg Crypto Summit where he was asked to share his thoughts on the proof of work versus proof of stake dilemma. What happened next? Jack completely destroyed proof of stake concept and I'm so excited to share with you his answer. Let's take a look. Um, so, first of all, using energy is not a bad thing, Matt. Like, uh, engineering and the use of energy is implied in, like, the growth of humanity. You know what else uses a lot of energy? An airplane. So, I tell you what. You don't like energy. Next time you and the wife go to Europe, you take a kayak. I'll fly United. <laughs> Next time you want to save and grow your family's wealth, you use the dollar. I'll use Bitcoin. Next time you wash your clothes, you hand scrape your kid's stain out of the white t-shirt. I'll use a washing machine. Like, when, since when was using energy a bad thing? I mean, come on. Like, it's absolutely asinine and ridiculous. And as far as, it's just ridiculous. Seriously. It's like, no one was like, oh, this airplane uses too much energy. But we're it's trying like, to use I less. I travel without dying. You know, when dying. Greta comes here, she <laughs> takes a sailboat. So, yeah, the idea was, didn't is... did she get, like, deathly sick or something? She was not, not a good experience Poor for girl. her. But, Poor girl. But a small carbon footprint. Um... No. You must care. The kids care about their carbon footprint. And even right? the carbon footprint, I mean, it, it like incentivize. It's the best use of energy. You know, like what an airplane can't do, or your washing machine, like make use of excess energy of a waterfall. So it helps stabilize the grid. Like guys flying airplanes aren't stabilizing the grid. So it's just such an asinine, ridiculous, uninformed, uneducated opinion. Those are the kind of questions I ask. Sorry. No? <laughs> um, and uh, no proof of stake. Like, first of all, if you want an asset to have a commodity premium, which, you know, you know this room knows what that is, um, creating money can't be free. Like, well, guys, what are we talking about? Like, the fact that if a lot of people want to create Bitcoin, it becomes more difficult is why the thing works. Are you, have you lost your mind? <laughs> creating money cannot be free. And so, like, what do you mean it's just a stake in the network? So someone like BlackRock just buys stakes in the network? It's absolutely ridiculous. And then you, you also have to account for things like the laws of physics, which proof of work does. I mean, I think what Michael Saylor, Michael Saylor calls Bitcoin property and everything else not. Um, I'm not going to comment on what the SEC should do or anything, but I think the real direct messaging there is your relationship with Bitcoin is not a liability. Okay, your relationship with Bitcoin is not a proxy to some foundation, some team, some corporate structure, some development decision. In fact, the founder of Bitcoin, he, she, or they, might be dead. Mm. <laughs> and it's working really well, Matt. Mm. It, that's what Sailor means when it's a property. There's no liability relationship. Like stable coins, there's a liability there. It doesn't mean stable coins are bad. Matt, I own a security. It's called Strike Stock. Securities aren't bad. Building liability relationships like Tesla stock's not bad, but there's a liability there with Elon and the company and their roadmap and their cash balance, right? And so like proof of stake, your relationship with that asset's a liability. A stable coin, your relationship with that's a liability. In theory, what you want is a monetary asset where there are no liability relationships. That's the whole point of the thing. That's what proof of work solved that. It was, a, it was like an amazing innovation. Proof of stake, if proof of work is like, we finally got an airplane to fly, this is a, a quote of a friend of mine, proof of stake is like, we know how to make it cheaper, faster, and less carbon efficient, just by not flying. <laughs> it's like, well, like, that's not like a competitor. That's just a totally different product. So I think Matt Miller from Bloomberg didn't expect to get such an entertaining and cool answer. It was straight to the point. I really liked how Jack compared Bitcoin to an airplane. And I 100% agree, creating money cannot be free. Speaking of proof of stake coins and the upcoming Ethereum 2.0 merge, I'm bullish as well. Bitcoin for me is a commodity and the best store of value, while the coins with proof of stake model are great securities. I personally think that Ethereum could be the Google of blockchain in the future while BTC will always remain digital gold. Both can coexist without any problems. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hodl strong my friends, I'll catch you later.